na get a fourth task which was classification of segment 2 immediately so we had already um, made the shape file so we now filter our we now filter the image collection that we will now get according to the bound and this first function it, it is used for it, it chooses it chooses it it takes the first the first layer of image composite so instead maybe you can also put instead of first you can also use dot medium medium is usually preferred because it takes the medium okay okay so it, it takes the median pixel within the within the layer so so you can also clip according to the image the image barrier itself okay okay so yeah so and then those are the visualization parameters and then as you notice here these are all the bands so there are around 13 bands so that was the raw sentinel image so this this raw sentinel image has cloud cover in it and all the bands in it so we now come and carry out filtering so here in filtering we now we now specify we now specify the date that we want the time period that you want that was 2018 the whole year from january to december and then the cloudy pixel percentage that is maybe once cloud cover less than 10 percent and then this dot median as i've said it chooses the, the middle within the images that are that are being given unto us the the median the median let me the one that's in the middle of the layers since and it's usually preferred since it is not usually not, not too bright and not too dark because of the shadows of the maybe shadow shadowing effect or maybe if it's on a high rate so the median is usually preferred so and then we print out the results so and then you add so as you can see for we now choose bands 432 these are two color band two color visualization of sentinel 2 so now sentinel this is now true color so now and then so as you can see up to here up to here if i if i run the if i comment this out let me comment that out and then i sit here and okay if i comment that out you find that we now have the raw image and the true color image so the raw image is that as, as you can see it is full of clouds and uh, so there's no pro processing right there that it's just a raw image so and it's up to here so it has all the bands and all the clouds and everything so the true color but the true color visualization now removes the clouds and as you can see now the image uh, image now is now clear and let me uncheck this let me uncheck this okay now the image is at least now you can now see it's clear And the cloud cover has been removed, although not not the some parts maybe partially uh, with with some cloud cover, but the cloud cover percentage is, is less than ten percent. So after that, we now let me now comment that out. So these are shortcuts. If you want to maybe if you want to these are just some sh this shortcut menu. Maybe you want to just run two three lines. Uh, can use the shortcuts okay so just pop out okay. so I wanted to comment that out again okay. just rush here. so once again I also wanted now we now want to train the our classifier so we come here training we declare we declare variable name training points and then we match the classes we match the classes that we are going to use so this will be the, the forest we will we want four classes as of, as of now so we want the water forest buildings and wetland so we now we now come here and as you can see now you realize maybe you know you can see this is water somewhere around here so we usually come here and they create a new layer so i had already done that so once you create a new layer you, you come and here to the settings you place it at water 
and then the, you, you choose feature collection and then since it is a it is usually accompanied by a property and a value so this property is what it, it, it is what let's say it is what joins all the it is what is unique with any it is what it is common between the between the classes so the property is land cover and the value it usually starts with from zero and then you choose a portrait color and then you say okay and then you come here onto your onto your image and then you where you see where it's the you see it's water you, you place a point you could either use polygons or points depending on your um, on your choice of uh, and then the second and then you go now to forest we do all the, the same we also do the same thing you know we, we put it as a feature collection and then we write here land cover since you have said this the property is something that's common between all the classes and then now one and then okay and then now forest you can see maybe here is this region is forest is forested here something like that this is just a quick i'm just doing a quick sample it's not maybe up to, up to the but it's just for explanation purposes so that you may understand and also buildings now you may zoom now into your map and just be, be, be clear about what you you can able to, you can be able you can able to distinguish okay okay So you might notice some pixels here. You may notice some are like here at first. Let me let it let it get. Okay. Okay. So you might notice maybe these regions are maybe maybe these regions okay let me delete that one first okay you may notice this region maybe is a the it's a built up this region here so you come and select select your point buildings then you, you place it on on that one maybe here another point is here another one is here here and then it's here. Yeah, so and then Wetland you also do the same. After that you now come you now come and uh, this this function this this export here export table to asset is used maybe when you want to when you want maybe to use it somewhere else. You want to export it as an asset the training the training that you have already done. So uh, as I was saying the land cover is used to connect the classes that you've just trained so it is un it is common between the classes so you now come and you first of all you do a band selection and, and band selection you do for the for the three bands the two color bands so and then you, ca you now come and do the testing and splitting the the test samples and the the ones that you'll use for if it's a you want to use maybe a machine learning algorithm maybe the rhino forest classifiers in this case you'll have to you'll split the data sets into test and uh, te train and test data such that 25 goes into training and 25 goes into testing and then you come and apply the random forest classifier right here so the the some parameters here like the de the, the number of decision trees that you want to place maybe maybe some parameters here are not added but it was just for the number of trees you must also have the variables per split the minimum li minimum leaf population the bug fraction this one was just purposes for explanation so that you may understand so you now come and declare your class you declare the classified variable you declare a variable name classified and depending on the band selection that you had placed and the, now the classified according to the algorithm that is used and then you know which 